here for the off-site runways. It's presented to us tonight by Yen, and we're going to see looks from 13 amazing independent designers in this space. It's known as Penthouse Mouse, and it has been the place to be this festival. So I'm here with Gillette, who's showing her label tonight. Now, tell me, what can we expect? Okay, well, um, there's a beautiful print, uh, which is a winter landscape, and that's basically the concept behind the collection for this season, uh, which focuses on melancholy and that seasonal disposition, which sometimes plagues people, but it has a very romantic and feminine feel, so. Amazing, beautiful. Is this the one that you're wearing here? It is, yes. So that will be on the runway tonight. Colours. Obviously, we can see that the colours here. Is that uh, repeated through the collection or yeah, some others? Um, it's quite muted tones, so there's a lot of blues, greys, black, and I like to keep it very simple and a simple palette, so it's very much blue. Now, I'm here with the Lime Drop designers, and tell me, you obviously know a lot about what is going to, what everyone's going to be wearing this winter. Some tips, print, perhaps? Print, yeah, a lot of colour. Um, a lot of texture, um, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, drop stitch jacquards and different kind of knits that look like your dress, so yeah, a lot of different stuff that just isn't the ordinary black duffel coat. Yeah. Yeah. And do you think that uh, something like this, the independent runways, people really, Melbourneans will really embrace it because it's just something a little bit different? Definitely. Um, this, our first two shows with the L'Oreal Melbourne Fashion Festival were independent runways and I think it's a really great showcase of young talent and, and a nice like um, like platform to to show your new season and yeah, it's yeah. good. And so then would you say for yourselves it has been a, quite a springboard for you? You showed last night in, in the L'Oreal Paris run, runways? Yeah definitely, um, yeah showing in the Paris run, oh the independent runways was definitely kind of brought us up to the to the level that we can now show in Paris runways so yeah we're really excited that we can move to that next level. Walking in a lot of the shows already this week. You've got the night off though, yeah, so well, you're looking... not the night off, but I've got yeah. This is my um, I've already done my last show, so get to watch this one. I've got a few friends in it. It's the first show I've got to watch for the week, so that's pretty fun. Pretty good. And uh, anything in particular that you're looking forward to seeing tonight? Uh, not really. I guess to see just what's out there and that diversity and what Australian talent has to offer would be really interesting. Uh, there's a lot of good labels that are coming up. So new people that are pushing the boundaries and stuff, so it'd be nice to see. We're here with a very well-dressed man. Now, Mr. Ash Williams, tell me, what is your interest in fashion here this evening? Ah, uh, Lars, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm coming to see, but I'm looking forward to it. We're seeing uh, some fashion. It's the Melbourne Fashion Festival, of course. The last night, I believe. Yes, it is. And uh, I hear they hold it off till the end, so the good stuff's going to happen tonight. Does that mean uh, you're going to get your party on after the show? Without question, being a Saturday night, this is my night to party. Monday to Friday, I'm an old man, so uh, look out tonight. Mum, I'm not coming home. <laughs> you heard that, Mum. <laughs> LMFF has wrapped up for another year. We've just finished up with the off-site runways here, presented to us by Yen. Seen more and more stunning work by some of the best Australian designers. And now it's just time to uh, get our party on, I guess, and look forward to next year. So we'll see you then.